So this is part two of my ankle fusion operation. So I would say at the moment I am about eight months, maybe eight and a half months post-op. So quickly get into it. How does it feel post-op? Absolutely loads better. Certainly not any more pain. Can walk much, much better. But motion isn't that good. Right, let's start from the beginning. What happened first? So this is a picture of my ankle and what actually happened there. In this picture, we've got two 90 millimeter hollow screws of some sort of metal. No idea what it was. Apparently it won't rust, which is the main thing. But otherwise, that's what I've had screwed into my ankle for my fusion operation. So let me talk about the cast. The cast was actually due to be on for six weeks in a cast, then six weeks in a boot. This thing was great. The cast, I hated it. I absolutely hated it. I found out I was plaster claustrophobic. So one thing I learned from having a plaster, if you've got an itch, it might send you a little bit do lally. If you are going to have to itch it, which they say do not poke anything down there. All right, they may say that. Fair enough, don't stick any pens down there where a top could come off or something and it gets jammed. If you are going to itch it, do one thing. Get yourself a metal um, ruler with a curved edge. Metal ruler is really thin. You can actually get down to a foot. To your foot. Funny is that, isn't it? But do that. I'll show you now how I'm walking now, eight and a half months into it. I'm pretty much walking normally, as you can see. But, I must admit, there's no way in hell I am running for any buses. That is not happening. Right, so th this is how I was walking. I was kind of dragging my foot behind me. And that was my... That's how I was walking for months. Months prior up. And every now and then... It would be like, ow, that hurt. Oh, what did help? Yes, I still am wearing these shoes, which I bought months and months ago from Skechers. These have been a godsend. These have made it so much easier to walk because this end's curved, that end's curved. It's preparing you for your next step motion. Unlike something flat, you're not getting that next move prepared. <laughs> So, sketches. thank you, surgeon. That was a good idea, fair play. Right, well, I should show you. This is the two little holes. Nothing much more to it than that. But it does feel like the holes, the screws, are quite close to the surface. And this is one of the ideas why I actually think I want to take out the screws which I'll be talking to 12 months post-op for a date on that. Mostly because I feel like if I was to bang my ankle there, I feel like the vibration would reverberate down my ankle. But take the screws out, and if I bosh it, it's just going to go bosh, ow, rather than bosh, ding, ow, 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 don't know. So one more thing as well is getting back to work. That's another thing as well, I just remembered. Um, if you had like an office-based job and you sat at a desk all day long, place of pressing bloody buttons, you'd be fine. You'd probably could have gone back, you'd probably go out work a month ago or so. But I'm a landscaper, so I've got a physical job. So me walking on uneven ground, you've, I still feel it really a lot. So if I was trying to push some wheelbarrow with a load of porcelain slabs up somebody's garden, which I'm supposed to be doing a makeover on, it's just not good enough yet for me to go back to work. I reckon it's going to be a year for sure minimum before you can do a physical job after you've had surgery. But if you're punching around pressing buttons, get back to bloody work. Another thing I haven't really mentioned... Um, it's actual flex motion. Bit disappointed on it, actually. Bit disappointed on it, actually. My left ankle, I can pretty much do that. 
and side to sides, back of that. My right ankle, all I can really do is just move my bloody toes. Sideways motion, not happening. So there is that. And what I'm struggling with most, steps. One after the other, I'm not getting that motion in between step to actually get ready for the next one. I can do, but really bloody slow. Or I just traverse and I go up the stairs that way, if they're wide enough, that is, obviously. But yeah, I kind of, steps are still a bit shit. So, but you know, eight months into it, I take the screws out in. Do you want me to take them out? Yeah, why not? Which apparently, as well, um, I won't need to go back in a cast. I won't need my boot. Because obviously, obviously the gap's got to fill back in with um, marrowbone. Unless they stick something in it, some false marrowbone, or they take something out of my ass and squeeze that in there. I don't know. It's generally been all right. I haven't had any pain at all. But motion is a bit shit. Right, I'm actually going to turn the camera around now, take my socks off in this beautiful, sunny, Welsh, rainy day, and I'm going to show you the flex of my feet. See the curviness on it? That's why these things are good for walking with after. Right, here's my ankles. Let me try to get in the middle of the screen. So, left one is fine, and that's the motion of the left quite a lot, and that's pretty much all no little bit side to side not a lot but it's just mostly toes up against full swinging circles on that one and this one is a bit naff yeah i pretty much think that's about it ladies and gentlemen happy ankle operations get well soon if you're having any needles shoved in your foot today mm -hmm.